Hey guys, this is Goku and today we're gonna be talking about the image at the poker table. You will learn why image is important and how you can use it to your advantage. So, let's get right into it. Your image at the poker table is basically what your opponents think of you. Whether they think you're a nit or a maniac. When you sit at a new table, all the thinking players will start to observe how you act and play, and they'll quickly make assumptions about you, which with time they'll adjust, but remember sometimes the first impression lasts for way too long. Why is it important to be aware of your image? Well, you can use it to your advantage. Let's say you've sat at a new table and during the first two rounds you've played 10 out of 18 hands. Each time you've had decent hands and were able to play them very aggressively and you've won them all. Now the whole table thinks you're a maniac and they'll be way more likely to call you down with much wider ranges than usual. Couple of hands forward, you're dealt pocket queens. Now you can just fully take advantage of your loose image and when a tight player with whom you've already played a couple of pots raises from middle position, you hope that he'll finally make a stand with a weaker than usual hand and you'll be able to stack him. So you 3-bet, he 4-bets, you shovel in and he calls with ace-jack offsuit. He would have never done this if it wasn't for your image. If you had a tight image, he would have likely folded the ace-jack off to the 3-bet. Now let's imagine a different situation. You sat at a new table and during the first two rounds you haven't played a single hand, not even from the blinds. Now your opponents are thinking you're a very tight player and you'll have a hard time getting paid when you're dealt pocket queens. But you can use your tight image to try and steal the blinds, to 3-bet light and definitely to bluff a little more, because other players will respect your bets much more. Your table image is not only how you play, but also how you act at the table. For example, when you're talking a lot, joking and having fun, you'll often be perceived as more of a loose player than in fact you are. Whilst on the other hand, when you just sit quiet and don't move much, other players might make assumptions that you're in need. So, remember to pay attention to how you are perceived at the table and also pay attention to all the other players and be aware of their image. Let it help you make your decisions, but don't give too much credit to it unless you've played a lot with someone and you have a pretty good idea of how they play. Because otherwise, you know that good players would try to manipulate their image and use it to make plays. Personally, I think it's good to give off a loose image when you're sitting at the new table because your opponents might just make the mistake and give you too much credit because of the first impression even when you tighten up later. So we talked about the image at the poker table. You've learned that your image is what your opponents think of you. You know that if you have a loose image, it'll be easier for you to get paid huge when you hit a big hand. And also that if you have a tight image, you will have trouble getting paid in the same spot. You've learned a couple of tricks to make you seem like more of a loose player than you really are. And you know that it's better to be perceived as a loose player, at least when you're playing a tight aggressive poker. You've also learned that first impression lasts, so it might make sense to start with really loose if that's the image you want to plant in your opponent's minds. Thanks so much for watching, 
And wow, you are really quite a player right now. Keep it up, man. If you like this lesson, please share it with your friends, click the like button and subscribe for more future videos. Now go play poker. Seriously, go. You can have all the theory you want, but if you don't practice, you will not improve much. This course gives you everything you need to know to beat the small stakes games, but it doesn't give you practice. You absolutely have to play at least a couple hundred of hands after every lesson if you want to improve your game. I'm sure you're gonna have a ball. So, see you in the next lesson.